example, giving that away. What do you think about that? Well, obviously the dilemma is clear. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing this little mermaid, shimmery, scaly, pretty siren nonsense. It was super fun. I really had a good time doing this. First thing I'm going to go on with my MAC strobe cream and I'm going to rub that all over my face. This is going to give me a nice shiny dewy look that I would imagine mermaids have since they're in the water all the time. Next I'm going to use my NARS um, foundation and I'm going to use my Morphe JH03 and I'm going to buff that into my skin, bringing it down my neck and onto my ears, making sure that everything is cohesive and it looks the same and there's not a sudden cutoff from my skin to the foundation. Now with my Kat Von D Lock Concealer, I'm going to put that underneath my eyes, on my forehead, and along my jawline. This is going to bring these points of the face forward and brighten my face, give it more of a dimension. And I'm going to blend that in with my Morphe JH08. My favorite concealer brush at the moment, it's actually replaced my Beauty Blender, so who knew? I'm making sure to put this all over my eye to prime for my eyeshadow. Now with my Chanel Tan de Soleil bronzer, I'm going to use my Morphe GH05 and blend that into all the places I would normally put bronzer. In my contour area, under my jawline, and around the edges of my face. Now I'm going to take my Cody Airspun powder and translucent and I'm going to pat that into my face where I put concealer, making sure there's lots of extra on the concealer, and then taking the excess and patting that into the rest of my face. And I'm making that stupid face because it got into my eyes. Now I'm going to use this Sheila, Shella, Chella um, eyebrow pen that I got in the Ipsy bag. I'm just going to fill in my brows. Now with my Maybelline Drow Brow Drama in Translucent, I'm just going to brush that in and set it my brows so they don't move anywhere. Now I'm going to wipe away the excess and pat it in, making sure my entire face has been set and nothing is tacky so when we put powder on top, it will blend nicely. Now taking this blush from my Tarte palette, I'm going to take my Morphe GH06 and just lightly brush that onto my cheeks. With this Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette, I'm going to go in with this pinky peachy shade right here, and I'm going to blend that into my crease with a large fluffy brush, the Morphe M510, and I'm kind of just throwing this everywhere. I'm not being precise, I'm just blending and putting down color. Now with my NYX Ultimate Brights palette, I'm going to take this like bright blue tealy shade and I'm going to blend that in with the Morphe M504 which is a little less fluffy. I'm going to start building in that color, blending it so it makes this pretty purpley blue color in the middle. Now with my Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe, I'm going to take this shade right here, the um, like tealy blue shade, I, I don't have the names on this palette. And I'm going to put that all over my lid with my JH41 flat shader brush. This is going to make sure I get maximum pigment. Now I'm just going to blend that out. This brush doesn't have anything on it. I'm just blending away the harsh edges. Now with my Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to take this shade called Gem right here, and I'm going to blend that into my crease with my Morphe M513. I'm just blending in all these colors, making sure it's a nice gradient. 
Does this remind anyone else of like the 80s? Like those, or like those paper cups that have like the teal and the blue on it? I'm pretty sure my dad has trunks that are in this exact shade range. Alright, now with my Kylie Peach palette, I'm going to take this shade Royal, this bright blue right here. And I'm going to take that into my outer V to deepen the edges, make more dimension, and add more color. Now with this shade right here, I'm going to pat that in with my finger. I'm going to put it all over the inner third of my lid, then blending it out, fading it towards the edge of my eye. This is what's going to give that, that pretty iridescence. Now back in with this bright purple shade, I'm going to go underneath my eye and just sort of drag that along, giving it a little more smokiness. Now I'm taking my Morphe JH40 and I'm going to try and blend that out. It's not really working, so I'm going to take this teal shade we used earlier all over the lid and I'm going to put that on that brush and try and blend out some more. Now I'm going to take my Lord & Berry purple eyeliner and I'm going to line my waterline. Now taking my Ardell Faux Mink Demi Wispies, which are my favorite lashes from the drugstore, and my Voluminous Lash Paris, I'm going to throw some mascara on my eyes to blend my real eyelashes with my false eyelashes. I'm going really heavy on my lower lash line to make sure that my eyelashes extend beyond my lower lash shadow, and then I'm going to use my Duo Glue in black. I'm just going to glue those on. Now with my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild brush right here and I'm going to contour my face. Anything I contour is going to sink back and make me look a little more dimensional. Now with my Wet n Wild um, highlighter, it's like this blue, shimmery, pink shade. I'm going to go all over the high points of my face, making sure I look very iridescent and shimmery. I'm going to do the same thing and take my finger into that shade and go on my inner corner and my brow bone. And now taking this liquid catsuit shade from their new um, Fire and Ice Dragon Collection by Wet n Wild, I'm going to throw that on my lips. And now I'm using this stencil I found at Walgreens. I'm going to take those uh, three shades, the purple, the blue, and the pink, and I'm going to start just patting that in. I'm putting purple where I would put contour, blue where I would put bronzer, and pink everywhere else. Then I'm just going to peel that away. I'm going to keep going around my face. Now I'm going to throw that onto my contour line. The 
you kind of have to be careful because here's where I made mis my mistake. I went over the border and I ended up with lines on my face from the stencil. So just watch out where you're blending. Now I'm going to use this other stencil with the things that I believe are supposed to be gills. I'm just going to pack some blue on there. Now I'm going to take this stencil and put it over my chest. Now I'm going to try and blend those edges because I really did kind of mess up. Watch where you're blending, folks, because you will end up with weird lines. Now with my Morphe setting spray, I'm going to set my entire face. The mist is so fine on this, I just can't even tell you. It's so amazing. And here's your final look. Thanks so much for watching. If you would like to recreate this look, please tag me. I would love to see and I hope to see you again. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. I will be back soon with more Halloween looks.